oven mitt is overseeing me. I'm digging this bed. The raspberries are creeping in, so I'm weeding this bed out and gonna be planting sweet corn, sunflower, and beans, hopefully. You can see I'm weeding that out. But I'm also checking on the worms because some of these worms are massive. And my concern is, for example, this worm is just so long. My concern is that this might be one of those predatory flatworms. Do you see how big it is? And it is kind of flat in how it holds itself. Look at that, it's flat. So I'm worried, as is oven mitt, that we have that those predatory worms here. So I'm gonna Google it and see, because those are some massive worms. I mean, that is huge. That is massive. So I'm very concerned. Look at the way it flattens itself there. Do you see how flat it is? So my concern is that it is one of those predatory. And do you see how pale it is? Mm, not happy about this. Not happy at all. So any worm that I'm digging out of this, it's well compost. It's got chicken shit. It's got, as you can see, the leaf. I'm moving some of the leaf. The leaf is over there. And it was, I covered it all in fallen leaves to prevent weeds from getting in it. But as you can see, my raspberry crop is growing over the mulched path and into the flower bed. So I'm gonna have to clear my path out, but it looks like we're gonna have raspberries this year. But yeah, very concerned. I'm gonna dig this bed over very thoroughly and just take out all the worms because of my concern of the flatworm. How it got in here, I don't know. Anyway, that's what I'm doing on Sunday. Okay, it seems that this is an Irish flatworm. So the front part you can see is kind of flat and that it has this little area here, this connector or I don't know, nodule or whatever you want to call it. And the other aspect that I was looking at is the New Zealand flatworm has speckles on its underside or one of its undersides. And this does not have any speckles. It's huge, it's massive. That's a massive worm. And I knew that there was an invasive worm in Ireland and I was concerned that this might be it, but this looks like it's a native um, Irish flatworm, which is really good to know. Here's some more worms that I collected just in case. So none of these, I think, match the description of the New Zealand one. There's no speckles on it. Um, they've got the little connecting thing. Now you're not to get onto the table. I came in because it was raining. I had to stop digging, but they have that. Whoops. Keep controlling earthworms. It's like trying to control cats. So this is a young one here, but these are, would be native Irish flatworms. So, um, but it was just good to check. So Mr. Google did his work today is all I can say. Look at the little millipede there. Okay, I'm gonna return these to the garden. My concern has been abated. So there's them. They're gonna go back to the garden and do some composting. So I've superficially dug over a lot of this bed and I've brought the worms back up. It stopped raining. So these are the worms. Now, the reason why I was querying, I mean, these are native Irish worms, but the reason I was querying was they're so huge. And a lot of people have been saying, oh, watch out for the New Zealand flatworms, watch out for the flat invasive flatworms. But these are nothing like, these are native Irish. So I'm gonna put them back in and probably the reason they're so big, look at the size of them. Look at how huge that one is. I mean, that is massive. My hand is, you know. 
So I'm going to put these all back. One left there. Okay, and they can work their way in. And probably they're so huge because I have such good compost in this in this um, in this uh, bed. So I'm going to cover them over before a bird sees them because they're really good for my. Oops, pick up some of those roots from crops from last year. Don't need those. But uh, there, cover up the worms and put them back in the bed to do their job. So probably my mixture of animal manure and uh, wood chip and everything is so good that the worms are just growing so massive. So hopefully this means my crops will grow so massive. Sadly, my garlic is being overgrown by invasive raspberry. See, that's where the raspberries are, but they're coming in here. So I've got to actually deal with that because my garlic, look, and my chard. I haven't been eating my chard because it had disappeared. And look, it's come through, but I didn't see it had come through. You see the that plant there? Oh, okay. I've got to, a lot of work to do. The strawberries are coming along beautifully and are flowering. So I'll get lots of strawberries soon. And I've got to plant out my mange two and peas. Those are waiting to be planted out. I found this thing is great for keeping the slugs off of them outside before I plant them. And then I'm gonna be putting wood chip. I've got to finish digging over this bed. And um, my, sadly, my purple sprouting broccoli has flowered. When it's finished flowering, I'll dig it up. And as you can see, I'm gonna have to get rid of all the raspberry cane. The raspberries are loving invading here. I've got a good raspberry crop. The asparagus is doing well. And next year, hopefully, I'll be able to eat some of my asparagus. It's just um, not, uh, it's in its second year, so next year hopefully i'll be able to eat some it still needs uh i need to give it some manure too you can see it's kind of hungry so i'll have to give it some manure and dig out the raspberries and dandelions and etc i planted a few waifs and strays of strawberries along here and they're doing really well they probably love the extra manure mulch that i feed the uh, asparagus. This bed is going to be, I think, squash and pumpkins. These are a few waifs and strays. I'm always very bad at waifs and strays and planting them in beds. So this needs digging over and compost added. You can see it's kind of shallow. I haven't done that kind of a work yet. So that's what's happening in the outside garden. A lot of work and I've got to plant. I'm going to aim on planting this bed and hopefully the peas as well. Well, I've been gardening. The pollinators have been busy pollinating my raspberries. Oh, it's gone. I've disturbed it from pollinating my raspberries. So hopefully we'll get a raspberry crop this year. It looks like we will. Anyway, this job has been done. Now, please don't walk on the flower bed. Well, it's actually not a flower bed, is it? No, it's a veg bed. Yes, I know. Yes. Well, you're not to walk on it. Now, if I... Just look, 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 my sweet corn. Anyway, sunflowers, dill, and sweet corn. And we'll see how they grow. Um, I've planted them slightly closer together than normal just because I've found the self pollination of the corn because we have so little. It's better to plant them closer together because it's a breeze or a wind that pollinates. So the closer you plant the sweet corn together, uh, the more likely it is that you're going to get um, sweet corn. 
and the sunflowers, yeah, they're small stakes. I'll make them bigger stakes later, but that was just what I got for a temporary uh, kind of thing. Yeah, no, you're not to jump in there either. Neither are you. No, you all are very pleased. Okay, I'm going to go and have lunch because that's one job done for today.